Now, having seen the basic chart manipulation elements, it's now time to get into analysis mode, and this is what the next icon means. This is where you can add an indicator. So let's start with an indicator, and what you see here is the indicator selection menu. So what actually is an indicator? In the Fibber Trader, an indicator is a little piece of calculation, a little program if you want to, which will provide you with either something visible in the chart, it will draw additional information into the chart, or it will create trading signals, depending on the rules which this little program has coded into. And it can also detect certain things in the chart for you, like formations. We will get into all of these areas now. And let's first take a look at this uh, indicator menu. We can enter a search phrase in here. Let's say we want to have a moving average. Average. You will see only the indicators which contain the word average, either in their name or in their description. If you click on such a indicator, you will see a small description up here, and when you click OK, it will be loaded in the chart. Now what you will see is there's a little star behind the name. So let's, uh, let's reset to search and scroll through. We see the, some indicators have stars, some don't. And this means if you see a star, it's an internal indicator, meaning it is provided inside of the FibroTrader software, and we do this for speed reasons. So the moving average is an indicator which is used very much, either directly or indirectly by other indicators. All the other entries you see here are little programs which you can take a look at later on, um, which you can change, or which you can also extend. So you can have your own indicators, and there will be a separate section on this later on. Also, from time to time, we will provide additional little indicators, or also bigger ones, depending on customer requests. And also, customers will present us with ideas for indicators, and they will also send us indicators, and we will provide them through a little uh, indicator store here, which is accessible through the More from Internet button. When I click it, you will see the download window, and as you can see, there are quite some indicators already here. And since the number of indicators doesn't matter, which we have in the system, let's simply right click and select all, click download, and it will download all the available indicators now into the Fibber Trader, reload, and there we have the updated list. So now we have 120 indicators, 200 maybe, if we count all the specialties. So let's continue with our moving average. As an example, I select it, click OK, and it would present me with a parameter box for this indicator. So the moving average supports or offers three parameters. The first one is the type. We can either have a linear, abated, or exponential type. Let's stick with the linear one. We can define how many bars it should take to calculate an average value. And we can also move the average left and right. Let's stick with the defaults and let's see what it looks like. We click OK and now we have the moving average in our chart. Now what we see is this orange line, which is the value of the moving average. And you see the it has a new entry here on the price axis. So the gray one is our main chart and the orange one is the moving average. What you will also see is a green and red uh, circles here. And these are buy and sell signals. So this indicator provides a default interpretation of when to buy and when to sell. So when you hover with your mouse over one of these uh, little circles, you see there's a buy signal. You should buy 10 items at 93.76. And you should sell them again and you will wonder now where does this come from this is simply coded into the indicator so the indicator assumes whenever the price 
crosses the indicator from bottom to top, it will generate a buy signal. And when it crosses from top to bottom, it will create a sell signal. That's the whole magic behind it. If you would have followed this strategy of buying and selling, you would have lost 97 euros in 12 transactions. So the Fibo Trader will automatically calculate the current strategy which you have defined here and present you with a final result. If you hover over a sell signal and you press the control button, it will draw a line to the buy signal which it refers to. This is very useful if you have several buy signals in here which would not be executed because only the first one is executed and then it will connect to the first one which it really refers to. If you don't press control, if you press shift, then you will see additional information for the chart and you see there is the moving average with its value, you see the volume and that's what you can do with the keyboard. Now, if you want to get some more insight into the individual transactions, you can either take a look here. You have a loss of 16, loss of 22. I think we nearly never won or gained anything. So now here we have a profit of 33 and so on. If you want to get a little better overview of this, you have the signals menu up here and you can go to the results. And the results is a very neat a uh, little summary screen. It will show you different reports. So currently it will show us it has considered this time period, which is total period with where data is available. It started with 50,000 euros and it made a net loss of 79 euros with a maximum drawdown. You saw you have 12 trades executed, only 3 were winning trades, only 25% are profitable and 9 are losing trades. So our largest winning trade is 33, largest losing trade. We see also when this happened and we see some more statistics and we see also the parameters of this uh, trading system. Now we have different reports, we have the whole thing in percentages, and we also have periods, so you can see in 2010 we lost 21 euros, in 2011 we lost 37. We were trading for 229 days and we were flat and did not trade for 90, 98 days. We can take a look at the details in our signal list. Um, let's see, when we make it a little bigger, so we see each individual trade. The costs associated with it, uh, profit, loss, and percent, and absolute. And when we go to the graphical analysis, we also see the equity which we have. So we have started out pretty bad, gained a lot, lost some, gained a lot more. So this is our high ground. So at one point we had like 80 euros in profit, but then we constantly lost and we are now down here. So we have two lines in here, maybe a quick explanation for this. The blue line is the average, so it will show you the trend of your capital, so this is a constant downtrend. The red one is the biggest drawdown, so it will connect the high and the low of where you lost the most in a row. We can also take a look at the individual profits, so we see a lot of losing trades, bigger losing trades and only some small uh, pr more profits here. So this is not really a good strategy and the Fibo Trader helps you to figure this out. It will show you clearly what trading signals make sense, what trading systems make sense. So it helps you to optimize your personal trading strategy to be a better trader. Let's make the chart a little bigger because we have space here and uh, continue. Now let's say you want to change actually something of some parameters of the moving average then this is very easy. Um, we saw there's an explorer on the left and on the right hand side we also have a menu and this is called the object tree. So if you click on it 
it will open a representation of what you can see in the chart. You can also make it bigger and smaller and you can hide it by single clicking on it and show it again also by single clicking. So currently we have selected the moving average and uh, down here we have the parameters and now we can uh, change it. So we can we could go to exponential, we could change the days, let's say we could go to 50, and press enter, it will automatically recalculate. As you will see it will also recalculate the profit we make. So now we also f we already have three euros profit, so it's not really amazing, but it's a start. Then we have uh, the shift value, what will it do? Maybe let's zoom in here a little. Let's say if you sh if you enter value of five, you will see it will be moved five into the future. If you enter a value of minus five, it will be moved in the past. So you can have different trading strategies with a lag in the uh, moving average. Now, if you want to change the appearance of the moving average, that's also possible. You have this appearance tab here. And basically, you have four different colors you can choose from. This depends on what type of uh, plot you have. For the basic plot, the main color only applies. So you have red, let's go to maybe a blue. Then we have a blue indicator. That looks good. We can decide if you want to have the value on the price axis or not, which is the little blue one here. Show and hide it. We can change the thickness. We can make it thicker <laughs> or thinner. We can change the line style. I will show this later on. And um, we can also colorize it. So I will also show this in the chart later. Let's go back to the top.